If time machines existed, where would you want to go? The Wild Wild West? The Middle Ages? Or even further? Well, it's impossible for anyone to experience these eras up close since we haven't invented a time machine yet. But with the help of technology, centuries-old cultural heritage sites are only one step away. Researchers and archaeologists around the world are digitally reconstructing significant historical sites. One example is Flyover Zone, an American virtual tourism company. As of August 2022, the company has digitized nine ancient sites, including the Acropolis, the Tomb of Ramses in Egypt, and ancient Rome. Founder Bernard Fischer takes us through the five-step process of their projects. For example, the Baths of Caracalla, ancient bathing facilities in Rome. So if we have ruins, we can digitize what's left. The ruins of the Baths of Caracalla, for your viewers will know who've been there, are bricks and it's a mess. It doesn't look at all like this. We digitally restore that data. Then we recontextualize it. We have the Baths of Caracalla. We need to put it in the city model of Rome. We can take virtual time travel trips and understand what it was like to be there. Finally, when we're done with all of that, we can present it to the public. We can disseminate our, our work in the form of virtual tours or virtual field trips. All their 360-degree virtual environments are published on the Yourscape app. Users can experience the 3D sites using smartphones, computers, and VR goggles. The app even offers guided tours, but you can also stroll around the ancient sites on your own. Bernard Frischer says it's not just about offering people a new and immersive history lesson. By recreating ancient sites, the study of history could finally become empirical. We're creating a James Webb telescope for the arts and humanities. So just as the James Webb allows us to see astronomical objects and in astronomical time very, very far away, what we're allowing you to do is see back in human history, human civilization, very far but very accurately and have that experience of, of having been there. Also elsewhere, companies are creating immersive experiences. Microsoft collaborated with the Hellenic Ministry of Culture and Sports to digitally restore ancient Olympia to its original state of more than 2,000 years ago. For this purpose, thousands of pictures of the iconic site were taken with cameras, on the ground, and with drones in the air. With the help of AI, Microsoft created spatial 3D models from the photographs. Interested users can visit ancient Olympia on their phones and computers. While restoring ancient sites is a great way of teaching history, protecting existing cultural heritage is becoming increasingly urgent. In Paris, the Notre Dame Cathedral is being restored after a fire in 2019. Already in 2004, researchers of the University ETH Zurich reconstructed the Great Buddha of Bamiyan in Afghanistan after the Taliban had destroyed it three years prior. And currently, in the midst of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, an activist group called Sucho is digitizing as many cultural sites as possible to safeguard them from destruction. Since researchers estimate that only about 15% of the world's cultural heritage is currently available in a digital format, time is ticking. What we need to get government to do is take out an insurance policy on their historic monuments by hiring companies like ours, and it'll take many, many companies, or university labs, to digitize these things while we still have them. Which ancient site would you like to visit digitally? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for our next video.